It's about two kids, really, um, who meet a group of friends, and over the summer of 1994, they do all the things that kids do. You know, they go out, they play sports, they get dirty, they talk to girls. Um, at the same time, though, there is an underlying problem of their abusive father, and then they have a plan to kill him. So the whole movie is about these two boys basically growing up in 1994, and planning on killing their abusive abusive father. So I don't personally have a younger brother, so I wasn't able to pull from something like that. Um, but I did kind of pull like the protective side because when you have a younger brother or a younger person who is being abused, you want to do your best to protect them. And so I I used my like idea of protection of over my friends and over you know, my younger peers and my mom to really, like, get that. And the relationship between me and my little brother is amazing, you know. he He's much younger in the film, and we start off the movie by, you know, seeing us together. Um, actually stealing tennis balls. And, uh, yeah, obviously the older brother is the role model, even though maybe not the best role model, he's still a role model, so it was really, um, it was really fun. Yeah. It was a really fun uh, partnership, basically. It's definitely different from anything I've ever done before. Working with younger people, oh, like people my age and younger, was interesting at first. It was, it was really fun and really enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but it was very different from what I've normally done, because anything else I did was always with only adults, um, and this is the first time I actually worked with kids and teens, um, but it was great, it felt like I was just hanging out with my friends, to be honest, uh, some of them, you know, were decently younger by a few years, but not, but not really, like, it didn't really matter, do you, do you know what I'm saying, um, and we all became great friends, and we still talk, so, mm -hmm. it was, uh, it was interesting, and there's always a joke that we were so we almost got kicked out of the hotel that we were all staying in like a few times. So there's always a joke that we were all like really bad, but we were all really good in reality. I promise. I promise. It's hard because the movie the movie is meant to be fun and heavy, so the fun parts were easy. You know, it's just having fun. But the heavy parts were really I don't want to say difficult, but they were really interesting because I personally, you know, I'm not abused or anything never have been luckily thank god um but i looked at you know how my dad had treated me when i was younger and then just amplified that and for my for the other actors too they did similar things they you know looked around them and saw people who were abused maybe not in their personal life but like on the news or um you know in stories and we all kind of like we all got that seriousness from somewhere, and I got it from a mixture of my own life and just like over amplifying it, you know. Because yeah, especially as a young, as a young man, as a young kid, it, you see everything a little bit more dramatic than it necessarily is. Um, granted, it was very problematic the abuse, but I had to go through my life and over amplify the bad things that happened to me. Uh, to get that, and then the murder part, the, it wasn't even really like, you know, like a gruesome murder or anything, it was just like, actually John explains it really well, you can't, the kids didn't want to do anything that didn't seem like something a kid would do, right? The whole idea was to blow out the light and then push a boiler on top of him because he was drunk. That's, that's never going to work. But in a kid's mind, it will. And so the whole idea was to, although it was very serious and although it was very um, important and heartbreaking to see abuse, it was also from a kid's perspective. So it's based off of, you know, true events and, you know, real people, really. That's, that's what it's really based off of, real people. Um, <laughs> in fact, all of the people in the movie were... That, that's their real names. None of the names were changed. Um, none of the personalities were changed. Nothing was changed. Like, those are actually the people that John, the director, grew up with. 
Um, and, you know, we always got to say, say this, Anthony is still alive in real life, um, but he was in FDNY, uh, NYPD, Air Force, all that, and uh, he did actually get hurt in a fire. He, he got forcefully retired from FDNY because of his lungs. He basically, he went into a fire and got d destroyed, like his lungs are are destroyed unfortunately but um yeah so everything is based off of true people for sure <laughs>